Tabby McTed by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Tabby McTed was a basket cat with a meow that was loud and strong. The two of them sang of this and that and people threw coins in the old jacked hat. And this was their favorite song. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Mew and the old guitar, how perfectly happy we are. One morning, while Fred ate some bacon and bread, McTed took a stroll round the block, then stopped for there on a doorstep set. A gorgeously glossy and green-eyed cat. She was black with one snowy white sock. Sock and McTed had a cat to cat chat. And that's how their story began. For a while they were chatting of this and of that. A thief had his eye on the old checked hat. He eyed it, he snatched it, he ran. The busker gave chase, but he tripped on lace, and crash, in a flash, he was down. He broke his leg and he banged his head, and he ended up in a hospital bed in a faraway part of town. Goodbye, Maktad said. I must get back to Fred. But where had the busker gone? The sun went down and the sky grew black. The stars came out, but he didn't come back. Maktet lingered on and on. A week later, Sok took a stroll round the block and found her new friend looking thin. He's gone off and left me, said Tabby Maktet. Then Sok said, my people, Prunella and Pat, would gladly find room for a fine Tabby cat. She was right and they took Maktet in. Next morning, old Fred left his hospital bed and found his way back to the square. But a brass band stood where the pay one sat, and the band played this, and the band played that, and Fred looked all round for his loud meowed cat. But Tabby Maktet wasn't there. Now Maktad had a wife and a very full life, with plenty of things to do, like washing Prunella and pouncing on Pat and hiding the car keys under the mat and keeping the newspapers nice and flat and giving the pants an occasional bed and nibbling this and nibbling that. But he dreamed of his friend with the old checked hat and always woke up with a mew. And often he said, what's happened to Fred? And his paws took him back to the square. But a conjurer stood where the pay one sat. And he pulled out this, and he pulled out that. And people threw coins in the tall black hat. But the basket was never there. One morning, Sok said, look under the bed and see the three kittens I've had. And Soames looked like this, and Susan like that, and the littlest kitten called Samuel Spratt looked exactly the same as his dad. The three kittens grew, and they learned how to mew, and Maktet sometimes sang them his song, and Samuel Spratt with his tabby grey fur had a deafening meow and a very light purr, and he simply loved singing along. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. When Susan and Soames found very good homes, their parents were happy and proud. There was one home like this, and another like that.
But nobody wanted poor Somel's bread. They all said his voice is too loud. Now Tabby McTed was a home-loving cat, but he couldn't stop dreaming of Fred. And one day he called for his wife and his son, and he told them, there is something that has to be done. I must go and find him, he said. So up and down and all over town, he wandered a whole week long. For many a morning and afternoon, by the light of the sun and the light of the moon, till he heard a familiar song. Just me and the old guitar, if I had a cat, I'd be happier far. Just me and the old guitar, with my cat, I'd be happier far. It's Tabby McTed, it's my long lost cat, old Fred was ecstatically glad. Then two of them sang of this and that, and people threw coins in the new checked hat. But why did McTed feel sad? He was missing his wife and his comfortable life, and the dozens of things to do, like washing prunella and pouncing on pet, and hiding the car keys under the mat, and keeping the newspapers nice and flat, and giving the pants an occasional bat. But how could he tell the basker that? Then out from a shadow sprang Samuel Spratt. Oh, please, let me be the basker's cat, he said with his deafening mew. Now Samuel Spratt is the basker's cat, with a mouth that is loud and strong. The two of them sing of this and that, though Samuel sings just a little bit flat, and people throw coins in the old jacked hat. And this is their favorite song. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Mew, and the old guitar, how perfectly happy we are. The end.